Sport Unboxing World, JF Sports. Let's talk about Kel Brook for a minute and that um, his adamant self of passing Rocky Marciano and Floyd Mayweather's record of 49 and 0. That's what he wants. You know? So, um, recently, Kel Brook has been criticized of all the personal stuff he's got going on. Not to mention, he's also been criticized about docking fighters and opponents to get the record where he's at now or to get more wins without actually going through some hard fights. Now, I have no doubt that Kel Brook could easily probably win a lot of these fights that are being mentioned at the moment. However, he's got to do it. You guys know Kel Brook would be fighting Chavez in October. And yes, Kel Brook would probably beat Chavez. But Chavez is one of those opponents but that you have to go through him. You know, you can't pretty much like... Nowadays, it's like it's like almost a mandatory to fight Chavez. You know, Chavez is somebody that you cannot overlook, and we all know that. Even though he's had some ups and downs lately, you know, a draw with Bradley, you know, a disqualification loss to Brandon Rios. But Chavez is one of those guys that would probably put you on your toes. You know what I'm saying? He probably um, test you out a bit and see what happens. Even though, like I said, Kelbro probably beat Chavez. You know, no problem. And I don't even think that fight would go all 12 rounds. But still, he's got to go do, uh, got to go through Chavez. And then I'd like to see Kel Brook fight uh, Amir Khan. Now, there's a lot of articles out there. And there's a lot of rumors and gossips that it's Kel Brook that's dodging Amir Khan. And there's others are saying that it's Amir Khan that's dodging Kel Brook. Who knows? We base it off in articles. And, you know, for all we care, both fighters... Probably don't just don't want to fight each other. Who knows? But yes, for us boxing fans, we want to see Brook and Khan in the ring. And you know, that's somebody that Khan's gotta um, gotta fight in order to actually, you know, go through and clean out the house at 147, right? Well, you also have um, Keith Thurman. You know, I think that fight with Keith Thurman is is gonna be a good fight and. The only reason why that fight might be difficult to make is because both fighters are undefeated. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to take a first loss. And both fighters are well known for knocking out their opponents and fighting impressively inside the ring. So one of those fighters, if Kel Brook and Keith Thurman gets inside the ring, one of them will come out with a loss, right? And that's probably, you know, both fighters are thinking that... um. Each other are, you know, both fighters are well capable of of knocking out each other. You know what I'm saying? So they are may um, may be uh, reluctant of fighting each other due to the fact that it's not going to be an easy fight. Like I said, I think the American fight would probably get made before the Keith Thurman fight would get made, right? But you also got, you know, Brandon Rios. I mean, not Brandon Rios, but Bradley and um. What you might call is uh, Matisse, I would like to see with Kel Brook. You know, them guys, you know. And potentially with Manny Pacquiao, you know. He's got to catch that fight also, you know. If he really wants to be the best, then he's got to catch that fight with Manny Pacquiao as well. Now, he's got to catch him soon, you know. Because Manny Pacquiao probably got a couple years left, if not a year left. Uh, fight a couple more fights and retire. But that's a fight that, you know, Kel Brook must look forward to. In order to to be known in the game and, and, and get some some street credits, so to speak, you know, what I'm saying, be the pay for view sensation. So, um, on the other hand, it's not gonna be easy. You guys know that, you know. Kel Brooks, you know, wish and hope to surpass the 49 and 0 record of Marciano and Mayweather. It's not going to be easy, you know. Yes, he's gonna have to to. To work hard and dedicate himself and and straighten out his head and forget all this personal stuff going on and clean out his house. He's going to have to do that. You know what I'm saying? So, he's one of the very few right now at welterweight that has an undefeated record, you know. Not too many now at welterweight, especially with big names, you know. Not necessarily station, uh, pay-per-view sensations, but with big names that are, that are good fighters out there. I mean, he's one of them. You know, you got Brooke. Thurman, and yes, Daniel Garcia is undefeated, but he's he's only fought once 
um, at, at the moment <clears throat> at uh, the welterweight against Paul Malnagy. But um, I don't think Danny Garcia will be fighting Kell Brook anytime soon. You know, this is, you know, it's not going to happen. I don't think Danny Garcia would agree to that fight right away. You know, he should fight somebody like Bradley Furs or a rematch with, uh, with Amir Khan, see what happens there. You know, maybe fight Brandon Rios, you know, them guys. But other than that, I don't think Gar Garcia is going to be willing to go just to Kell Brook right away. I don't even think Garcia would go fight Keith Thurman. No, I mean, Al Heyman's not going to let that happen but on the other hand you know Kell Brook wanting to surpass that record <clears throat> not tying it up he's really keen on surpassing it that's what he said you know he's adamant on surpassing it not tying 40 and 0's he's trying to go 50 50 and 0 you know you guys know he's got the same number of KOs in his resume as uh, Floyd Mayweather 24 KOs in resume he's 35 fights he's got no draws and no contests so you know he's on his way to tie up um Marciano and Mayweather, but he's he's still got 14 fights left to even tie it up, right? That's a long time. That's take a couple of years, at least half a decade, maybe, unless he fights three, four fights a year, you know. But he's gonna eventually. I would like to see Kell Brook go up to light middleweight, right? Because even though we mentioned, you know, Thurman, Amir Khan, uh, Bradley, you know, Garcia, Matisse. You throw them in there, you know, Postal, all them cats, right? Even we throw those those names over there. It's very unlikely that all those fighters would actually fight Kell Brook. Very unlikely. And sometimes you got to understand, and we all got to understand as boxing fans, that even though our dog in the fight, our man wants to, to fight somebody, you know, it also depends on opponent. And... You know, you got politics in boxing and such as promoters and stuff that that willing to get those fights for them. You know what I'm saying? You know, I don't know. Boxing nowadays is more like it's more about money now than actually fighting, and we all know that. You know, no matter, you know, don't matter no more who you fight. As long as you know, create some numbers, you fight. But Kell Brook going to to try to 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 go 50 and 0. He's gonna have to fight some dudes. You know what I'm saying? He's gonna be, it ain't gonna be easy. I mean, he make it sound like it's easy, but it's not. You guys know that. He knows that. You know, like I said, a, a very tough comp um, competition for him at world weight at the moment. I can see is Kit Thurman. You know, we us box fans would like to see that fight. You know what I'm saying? As you guys know, 147 is where the money is. You know, like I said, I would like Kell Brook to go up to light middleweight and fight Cotto and Canelo and stuff like that. But you know, before those guys. He's got to clean up the house. You know, Keith Thurman is just not going to let Kell Brook walk all over him. Unless Keith Thurman, you know, ducks Kell Brook and want to fight him. But from, from what I'm hearing, this Keith Thurman is open to anybody. I mean, he's calling out Khan, uh, Kell Brook. I mean, anybody, you know, except for Danny Garcia. He's new in the game, you know. They said he's the, he's, 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 he's the, he's the fish at the moment. I mean, he's fought Paul Malnagy. And, um, you know, that's, that's it. You know, I think uh, Garcia should be fighting, you know, test the waters still because we all know, you know, Paul Malaji was not, no, no competition. It was not the so-called, um, audition to 147. That was, that was, that was a shit fight, you know. And I think Dan Garcia should have, should have knocked out Malaji. He shouldn't have gone all 12 rounds unanimous decision. He shouldn't have, you know, it should have been a knockout. But anyway. But yeah, I don't see uh, Danny Garcia in the uh, Keith Thurman, Kell Brook equation at the moment. But, you know, Kell Brook is, you know, a after, you know, I don't know if Mayweather actually finally retired. But Kell Brook is actually one of the fighters that's being mentioned that Floyd Mayweather should have fought rather than Berto. You know? I know Amir Khan's been wanting that fight. But, he, you know, he, he's, he's, not, he's never going to get it. So he's never going to get it. And uh, Keith Thurman is one of the guys that have been mentioned that Mayweather to fight rather than Berto, and um, b because he's up there, you know what I'm saying, I, what is he, number two right now, uh, you know, next to Mayweather or next to Pacquiao, I don't know, number two, number three, he's somewhere up there, but he is up there, you know what I'm saying, he's a competitor, he's a good competitor, and like I said, uh, he's gonna, if I was Kelbrook, I'm gonna try to push fight with Pacquiao, you know what I'm saying, try to get him uh, to get to fight with Pacquiao before Pacquiao leaves the sport, you know, he's probably gonna leave here pretty soon. And then try to get that fight. You know what I'm saying? I think Kell Brook has a better chance of getting the fight against Pacquiao rather than um, Keith Thurman. I mean, uh, Amir Khan or Keith Thurman. You know what I'm saying? It's just, 
It's up to um, the promoters and stuff, you know. Keith Thurman is not walking the park. Kell Brook is not walking the park. And for some reason, a lot of people are doubting Pacquiao. Hell, I got to say it. Even Pacquiao at the moment, a washed up Pacquiao, as a lot of people tell, uh, say, you know, he's about to retire and you got all these injuries going on with him now. He's still not walking the park. You're just not going to go walk to Pacquiao. That's not going to happen. You know, he's not just going to, you know, uh, uh, get a KO like how, how, like how uh, Marquez did in 2012. You know, you're not just going to do that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, do, do I think that Kell Brook has the potential to beat Pacquiao? Yes. Absolutely. Do I think that Keith Thurman can beat Pacquiao? Yes. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that Pacquiao's unbeatable. He's been beaten six times. You know what I mean? He's been being the worst kind of beating you can you can possibly imagine in boxing. He's been knocked out cold. You know what I'm saying? He's not new to him. But he's still, just like I said, Chavez. And I'm not comparing Pacquiao to Chavez now. There's some fighters out there that people think, oh, just because they lost a KO, you know, I mean, they've been knocked down and knocked out, you know, they're, they're easy work. They're not. All right? And and, uh, and we've seen that in boxing. You know, a lot of people, you know, especially casual fans, and some of the hardcore fans also, you know, they, they tend to think that the last fight is what is what really um, makes the the fighter. You know, it's not. It doesn't make you just because you lost. It doesn't make you a loser. You know what I'm saying? It just. But if you have a trend of like you know three four fights that you keep losing and stuff like the same way, then yeah, maybe it's time for you hang it up. But you know, um, like I said, Chavez is ups and downs. He's about to fight. Kell Brook here next month and we're looking forward to that and just to mention to you guys October is a big month for boxing you know what I'm saying you got well let me let me mention um, uh, Wilder versus the Hoopers is, is fine I believe next week you know it's not a following me I'm not sure but it's 26 of September so that's a big fight that we all gonna have to watch and after that you got uh, Matisse Postol that's it, beginning of October I think October 3rd and then you got the big fight Golovkin Lemieux and then you got the Kell Brook and um, Chavez so it's, it's some good fights upcoming you know after that you got Canelo Cotto so we are gonna be busy here I mean it's been this has been slow week for boxing so to speak but hey it's gonna pick up here in, in a bit you know and like I said we'd like to see you know, Kell Brook out there, you know, put out his name, put his name out there and says fight, fight, fight. You know, to try to get a fight. And like I said, I'm not sure if it's Khan's docking Brook or is Brook docking Khan. But if that fight's not going to happen, then you just got to move on. You know what I'm saying? Khan is, Khan is a good fighter, also a good competitor. But he, he's picking. He's picking opponents uh, with big pay per view sensations. You know what I'm saying? You know, he's trying to get a fight with Mayweather, which is never going to happen. It hasn't happened four times, four tries. It's not going to happen anymore. Mayweather's supposedly hang it up or hanging it up or hung it up. I don't know if he's retired already. He didn't relinquish any belts. But um, he's not going to get that fight ever, you know. So uh, a, a fight with uh, Manny Pacquiao, as Khan said earlier this week, is possible. He said he's in talks with Pacquiao, and that's fine. That's cool, you know. But it's not hard yet. It's not hard uh, of... of Made yet? It's not made yet. You still got a lot of uh, fighters being mentioned right now. You know, with, with Manny Pacquiao. I mean, you got Dan Garcia being mentioned, Terence Crawford being mentioned. You know, you got all these fighters. Hell, even uh, what you call it? What was his name that they came out today? He said that oh, that might be an inter interesting fight too for Manny Pacquiao. I mean, all this, this, this fighters at 147 is trying to make, make, make. Uh, make a name for himself are gunning for Pacquiao why is because Mayweather's not gonna fight no more right you know had Berto won that fight against Mayweather guess what he probably gunning for Pacquiao too and Pacquiao probably gonna fight him you know you know it's it's whatever but it's just that it's it's tough you know 147 we all know is where the money is you know it's the it's the most Precious, so to speak, precious division in the game, and it's there's a lot of sharks in there. There's a lot of politics in there, and you know, if I was Kell Brook, try to clean out the house, you know, try to ask for fight, try to ask for fights, you know, two three fights a year, two fights at least minimum, right, a year, and, and, and you know, clean out your house, you know, and if you fight, if the opponents don't want to fight you, you just gotta move on, man. You know, what I'm saying, if you, you know, the fighters that you want to fight don't want to fight you, then hell. If you clean out the, the most you can at your house, then you go move up to light middleweight. 
Go fight Canelo, man. Go fight Cotto. You know, somebody before Cotto also retires. You know, you got a lot of fights also there. Try to go fight with Golovkin. You know what I'm saying? Go up the middle way. Hell, go fight Lemieux. You know what I'm saying? You got a lot of fighters out there that will be willing to fight you. But if you keep harping on, on one fighter, such as Kamir Khan, keep harping on Mayweather, it's not going to happen. You can't put your career on hold. You, you can't suspend your career in boxing just because some fighters don't want to fight you. You know what I'm saying? But... I believe Keith Thurman's fight would be a great, great fight against Kell Brook if he can get that made. Um, but we got Chavez in front of Kell Brook um, towards his 50 and 0, so to speak, that he's trying to reach, surpassing Rocky Marciano's record and Mayweather's record. Uh, after Chavez, he should try to get a fight with Khan. You know, this doesn't happen. <laughs> Then try to get a fight with, with Thurman, Matisse, them guys, you know, Postal. I mean, you know, you got plenty of opportunities there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like I said, not Danny Garcia. <laughs> Anything but Danny Garcia. Maybe even Bradley. You know but Danny Garcia, no. He still needs some honing at the 147. You know what I'm saying? So, Danny Garcia should be fighting somebody like, I don't know, Ben Rios. Or, or I, I wouldn't mind seeing him with Bradley. You know, Bradley has been there and done that. But for some reason, we still look at Bradley as somebody that makes a lot of rookie mistakes, right? Yes, Bradley's been there with Pacquiao twice. You know, he's been there and done that. He's got a great record, good knockout percentage. You know, but for some reason, even though he's fought some of the best to exclude Mayweather, he's still not being branded as one of the best. I mean, you know, he, he's been... Uh, fighting not so good opponents so to speak you know even though um who was that guy that he fought and, and beat it was crazy uh undefeated kid but anyways so he fought that guy right and he beat the kid and it was some kind of controversial decision there for a referee stopping the fight too early um a mistake it was, it was a mistake by the referee the referee was kind of old but um you know, it's uh, oh, Vargas, Jose Vargas. There you go, Jose Vargas. You beat that kid, you know. But you may, um, Bradley has been, has been um, uh, fighting this this young cats and, and stuff like that. You know what I mean? So, uh, Bradley fought Chavez and, and who else he fought? I mean, he's he's fought quite quite a, some some young cats in the game, and not necessarily like you know, you know Manny Pacquiao, Keith Thurman, or or um, Kell Brook. You know, statuses. But, um, yeah, yeah, I don't mind seeing Kell Brook with Bradley, you know. But like I said, Kell Brook, you know, it's easy to say that, you know, I, I want to surpass the record of 49 0, but you got to stop fighting. You got to stop getting your, your leg beat up and, and your leg cut up and stopped by people. You got to, you know, tone it down and, and get your life, your personal life situated, you know, in order for you to keep fighting. You know what I'm saying? You, you got to fight in the U.S. You got to come to the U.S. and fight, fight, fight. You know, and not only fight, you got to win impressively for you to actually make name, you know what I'm saying? It's not impossible, you know, it's doable, you know. As they say, records are are made to be broken, so go for it. Go for it, but like I said, I, you know, I would like Kell Brook to actually, actually win impressively against his, his, his near opponent, his near future opponents, you know. And I would like for him to knock out Chavez. He ain't be no 12-round decision and stuff like that. You know, it should be a knockout. You know, knockout after knockout after knockout. So people will know you, will recognize you, and give you more fights. And with your promoters, you know, arrange you with, with big shot fighters and stuff like that. And uh, and go for it. Go for it, you know. Let me know what you guys think about Kill Brook and his, you know, adamant self about surpassing the 49 world record. And, and, you know, what do you think about him? You know, do you think he's got the... Do you think he got a chance to do that? you think he got a chance to, to actually... Surpass 49 and 0. Do you even think he can go to, you know, 40 and 0 without having a loss? You know what I'm saying? He's only at what, 34 fights, 35 fights, still got, you know, but he's gonna run an opponent. He's gonna have to move up. Wait, that's for damn sure. He's gonna have to go lightweight, light middleweight, you know, middleweight. And he can do it. You know, he's a, he's a tall guy, he's a big guy. He ain't small. You know, he ain't like Bradley, you know, tiny. But um, I, I believe he can do that. He can do that. But a fight with Thurman, I say again, it's not going to be easy. And it's not going to be no walk in the park. Um, and if it does go up to light middleweight, a fight with Canelo certainly is not going to be walk in the park either. 
but um i don't know man american should just fight them let's see some fight you know what i'm saying let's see what what american can do to somebody uh, like kel brook you know yeah. <clears throat> let me know what you guys think drop me a comment and as always jf sports thanks for watching